Kevin Jackson is here with me. He's a conservative radio host and a Fox News contributor. Richard Fowler is here, too. He's a senior fellow at the New Leaders Council. Thank you both for being here. Richard, be here, Megan. the whole thing is so frustrating. It's so disheartening. It feels, it feels antithetical to who we are as a country, and yet Roger. here we are again. Thanks for having me, Megan. I got to tell you, I want to be real with you tonight, uh, and I think some people in your audience might not want to hear this, but here's the truth. What the African American community, we're tired of waiting, right? So we have to wait for the justice system to take its course. We have to wait for the investigation to happen. But all this time, another black male life is lost. I am a young black male, same age as some of these same guys that have been killed. And I worry for my own life, walking home at night or riding my bike at night to and from my office. This is a serious problem that we've really got to tackle. And I, you, at the beginning of the show, you talked about how police, it, all the shootings are from police policies. Well, maybe it's time, just maybe, Megan, that we take a look at these police policies and really understand what's, what's working and what's not working. Because clearly, in Charlotte, we see it's not working. In mm -hmm. Baltimore, it's not working. In Ferguson, it's not working. In Miami, it's not working. Every city in this country, we're seeing an outcry from the black community. We're tired of waiting. What's unacceptable to the black community that another black brother has been slayed by the hands of law enforcement. Something has got to be done here. Just and I know Kevin is huffing and puffing, and he can continue to huff and puff, but if he's a black man in America, he's just as liable to get shot as I am, as Alton Sterling, and there's two individuals that got shot in the past two days. Just to correct the record on Ferguson, Missouri, because that has been one of the most rip misrepresented cases of them all. The I'm talking about the police department policies, okay. Megan, not Let's what happened tomorrow. That. That's Let's just clarify go that, because go that, that is where the hands up, don't shoot, lie well, began. The Justice Department report talks about patterns hey, and other people talk about systemic racism. Racism. racism within the Ferguson she didn't Police ask Department. You no questions, Absolutely, Kevin, hold shut on. Up. Absolutely, they do. However, they also found that Michael Brown, the black decedent in that case, Very was true. charging at the officer who Very defended true. his own life when he shot about him. Policies and I understand, Richard, department. but when you just that, that refer to Ferguson, matter. that doesn't matter to Richard. It does matter. I just let clarified. me get back to Kevin. Let me let me get the floor to Kevin because there was a lot to unpack in what you said. Go ahead, Kevin Jackson. Well, first of all, I wish he had a cop here in the studio so he could blow my brains out while I was listening to Richard. What a Maybe bunch of nonsense. Hoodie, Kevin, we, we, have, we, have, we actually have, we have a, a city that's, got, that's 40 percent higher in crime rate than the national average. Richard probably can't tell you the number of people who were killed in that city over the last year, which, by the way, was 62. He doesn't tell you that 35 percent of the city is black, but they represent 67 percent of the homicides, and he wants to blame cops. I'd ask a very simple question. Where were the cops when all the other crimes were going on? Is this the only time that the Charlotte cops have had a problem in that city, or have they had a problem for decades? It's only when somebody gets shot that the race pimps come out and they start making an issue out of something. You got people down there partying because the left narrative is yet again Again, being being a uh, being a uh, uh, you know brought forward, and they know it's a lie. You look at all the statistics that, that support. That you look at all the statistics of cops killing police. Uh, you look at all the statistics of police officers killing blacks. And Richard knows he's being disingenuous. You know, Richard, the the, the problem is that the facts in this case in particular seem. You know, if you, unless you completely discount what the police officers are telling us, and they have seen the body camera video, and they have seen the pictures, they're, they're not releasing them yet, but they, they will eventually, and if it's all lies, it's going to come out, is that, is that this, this shooting might not be the one uh, to make the point, right? That this, this man may have pulled a gun on these cops. Neither was Ferguson. But the, but the question is, you can, can you have rioting in the streets? Can you have people getting shot? Can you have, you know, things being thrown at the police officers? Every time there's an officer involved shooting where the person who is shot is African American, even if the shooting, by the accounts of the independent eyewitnesses even, was was brought on by the man who was shot. Well, there's a couple points. There's a couple things to unpack there. First, I am no poverty pimp. I, I don't know where that line came from from Kevin. Uh, two, clearly he's also uh, so clearly he's also got his talking points on the alt right and blaming this on the left. But you cannot blame what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the video was there. Even Donald Trump I'm not himself. Not talking about Tulsa, Richard. We're ta but you can't you can't look at these things in a vacuum. Once again, the right and people like Kevin want to view this as one case at you a time. You know nothing. This more than anybody else about it. Are you going to let me finish? Let, let, let Richard finish. <laughs>
This is a pattern here. It's over and over we see this. We saw this in the Walter Scott case, just down the street from Char Nonsense. just down the street from Charlotte, where he was shot in the back by a police officer. Once again, we have seen 400 years of compounded bigotry and racism oh, yeah, play itself out in policies in police departments across this country. And if you are, you have to be blind not to see it, or okay. you have to be a self-hating black person, either or. Uh, hey, let, me, let me let me tell you, yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly right, Richard. Self-hating, hating you, black person. The fact of the matter ahead. is, you can't name a single, you can't name the last black person shot by another black person in any city, but you can certainly glom Why are we going to black on black crime? Why are we talking about, we can talk about why are we talking about, why are we talking about, you know, just, just you as you guys are arguing, just stand by.